Hello, you are looking at InfoWater SA. This is a new software to model um, water distribution systems put out by InnoVice and has some really neat features and a new look. So it has a um, ribbon co control. So you open and close files using the file command. You get to help by clicking on help. You get to about by going to, to about. You get to the InnoVice homepage by clicking on homepage. And what's really good is that it has a quick quick bar here. It's a quick access tool. So you open and close, look at project preferences, zoom in, zoom out, fit extents, etc. by by using this. So it's very handy. And then at the top it has easy to understand ribbon controls. You go to home, you do things like measure, identify, etc. And it uses the Arc Engine from Esri to, to do this. You click on project preferences, you can see what the project preferences are. You go to run manager, batch simulation output, everything together is, is linked together in the project. Then you go to report, after you run the model, you can go to report, do your customized reports, your graphs, your tables, domain, you, could, you can clear a domain, you can manage a domain, you can enlarge it, so everything is together. So everything is together and, and shows up that way. And same thing with facility. You go to facility. It's very easy to find objects. Facility manager, typical info water, info swimmer, info sewer, facility managers. Now you go to edit. Edit has all of the things like adding, adding tanks, adding junctions, digitizing, uh, moving objects. So everything is like easy to find and easy to see on the ribbon. You delete objects using the delete thing, and then you edit attributes. So it's the all of the commands of info water, but nicely designed in a ribbon control, so it's easy for you to see. View has things like the map, full extent, map display, so you can change the display of before and after. I mean, the database and active output. Allocator, for doing demand allocator, LDM. Is another is an add-on to to uh, InfoWater and SL, SLM. Applications are add-ons like um, Calibrator, Designer, IW Live. Then of course uh, there's a, the the well-known pressure species model in InfoWater, pressure zone model, SCADA Connect, so you can actually connect to SCADA Watch, and then NetView, which goes to um, Google Earth. Okay, so that's View Data organizes all of the data components together. So you have your scenarios, you have your exchange, GIS gateway, import, export manager, import and export EPA net, merging models, and then database, you click on database, that's all the commands on database. So it makes it really easy for anybody to understand exactly where the software commands are or the software tools are. And then under tools, it's the uh, well-known Innovice commands for finding um, Problems with connectivity, orphan pipes, fixing um, intersecting pipes, doing utilities, finding elevations, doing the hydraulic calculator, and then, of course, the editor, uh, which is basically the animator. And then, of course, you do the uh, pressure zone work here. Validation, you click on validation to do the engineering validation, find out if there's any issues with your model or the data that you import. We went to application, and another really nice thing is it looks fairly similar to um, ArcMap in that you have layers here, and you can add data. So you would add your shapefiles, your geodatabase, rasters, server data, layer files here, and you do CAD here, which is basically CAD would be DWG and DXF files. You can remove layers, render layers. So you click on a layer, render the layer, and basically that brings up map display for the info water system. And then you can edit the layer attributes, which brings up the database. So it's really easy to understand and nice. Another really nice thing that I like is it has <clears throat> model explorer. So it looks at the key elements. We have our, we have our scenario explorer. So we can do scenarios. Connect that to facilities, simulation times, etc. We have a run manager, so we can run our model. And then once we have the model, we see the model results in the uh, output section here. 
or we can graph the model results um, if we had used um, non-steady state. But you can see the steady state answers here. You can see the tables here. So you see the tables or the reports for, for, this, um, for this model. So everything is kind of neatly tied together. And also when you do the uh, map display or animation, you can see uh, the time changing, changing over here. So it's a really nice um, GUI for um, seeing what's going on in your model, um, seeing the commands in the model, and a really nice ribbon interface. So that was InfoWater SA, and thank you for listening.